All right, everyone, here we go. This is a uh, soulmate energy short. I got some time here at the end of the day. I thought I'd throw a quick reading. Try, I try to keep these under 10 minutes. <laughs> Sometimes it's not that easy. I've got the big light seer deck here. I'm going to give it a shuffle. Let's just see what the universe wants to tell us with three quick cards and a bottom card. I do not clarify on the soulmate energy shorts, but I promise you, uh, if, if the universe has something for you to know, I'll tell you what it is. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm shuffling here. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, when you're meant to find it. And there is a whole separate playlist of these Soulmate Energy Shorts. I just sometimes at the end of the day, I don't have a lot of time. You know, because those three quick cards with me usually end up being 40 minute quick cards with me. I don't have 40 minutes right now. But I do have this. And this card keeps coming up. It, it came up, I, sh I shuffled this deck a few times before I hit the video just to kind of warm it up. And it kept coming around. It's the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's going to be crossing the center card I pull. That's victory. But it's um, it's, a trans it's a transformational energy. It really is. But what's, what's interesting about the Lightseer deck is this green wreath here. Green is the color of the heart, the heart chakra, if you will. Something here about the heart chakra. There's something going on here. I don't know if it's you or if it's your person. I don't know. I said, what's what's the universe want to tell us? I don't know. It's, oh, shit. <laughs> it's justice. Okay. Okay. This is going to be a... Uh, all right. <clears throat> and the center card that our little green wreath is crossing here. Mm, it's you. It's the empress. It's the queen of tits. It's your tits. The best tits. <clears throat> man it's unreal that's kind of funny because i was just watching a tv show with my wife and she said the darndest thing this woman was wearing a dress on the show and i thought she was going to comment on the dress and, and this is very rare from my wife okay very rare she says she has nice tits and i thought my god am i rubbing off on her after all these years i'm finally rubbing off because that's all i saw i didn't see the dress all i saw was the damn tits it's one of those ones where it's like wide open i'm like okay that was very weird for her. It was very out of character. And here, right here in the center, I said, I'm going to go in and do a quick short. And here I am, throwing tits. Uh, it's crossed by that victory. Now we need to know what's under that victory. Oh, shit, it's a fool. Yeah. Okay, somebody's coming towards you. To There's an energy coming towards you. Fine. Uh, we'll, we'll get to it. Uh, what's book? <laughs> That's funny as hell. I can't believe that. Death. It's, it's all major arcana here, crossed by... Actually, technically, it's all major arcana because the fool is crossing the six of wands. The six of wands is just sort of an identifier of things. Uh, because I pulled the card that was under it. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Um, you, the viewer, right? The divine feminine, which is most of you. Even if you're not the divine feminine in your connection, your feminine energy is coming up. This could apply to one or you to your runner or you. I think for most of you, it's my viewer. The universe is saying you have a lot of power around you right now. You make a lot of people happy. I, I, I can make a joke and say with your tits, male or female, but it's more than that. It's the energy that's coming off of you. Whether you realize it or not, you could be sitting at home going, this guy's full of shit. I'm crying and I'm sad and I don't feel good. This guy's stupid. I hate Steve. He's stupid. He's stupid. You know, I'm not. All right? I'm not. <laughs> I'm an Academy Award winning act. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not stupid. No, it doesn't matter. You could be that person I just did right there. I just turned into. It doesn't matter. That energy, this energy is coming off of you. I got all major arcana here. There's nothing you can do about it. You are moving to a new level. Victory will be yours. The heart chakra is opening. All right, if this, if I were to turn this into a yes or no, like if you had a question, so I, I get all mystical with you, right? If you had a question and you want to know the answer, yes or no, right? The answer is yes. It's a, it's a, it's a resounding yes. It really is. Um, this is a fool on a new level. I'm, I'm scared to look at what's under the fool, but it's, well, it's the seven of cups. It is. It's options. Options, options, options. Where you had no options before, you're about to have them. And I believe that, that bring, well, it not only brings you victory, but because of the energy around you, it brings everything to you. I mean, literally. Okay, Think, things are flying at you like you're an electromagnet in a nail factory. 
That's how attractive the energy is around you. You make people happy. The energy around you is balancing. Also, the energy around you is transforming. And this, this tells me with, with the Empress here that you're transforming with it. Okay? So it doesn't matter whether you're upset and sad and crying in the corner. I, on the divine feminine side of this connection, there is an extreme attraction. Why is this reading important? Well, I do these little readings to kind of cross-check things. I did a reading today about Mars and Taurus, and I did one uh, the day before that where, for, uh, um, what was it, uh, Mercury and Cancer. All of the readings I've been doing lately are saying people are coming towards you. Things are going to be attracted to you. Your soulmates turning around and coming back. They are. It comes up in the readings. I mean, ener energetically anyway. If it, I can't predict whether the 3D person's coming around it. But you need to know. Okay, I asked the universe, what do you need to know? What do you want to tell my viewer? You need to know that this energy is coming off of you. It probably because some of you don't know. Some of you doubt that this energy is around you. Maybe because nothing's happening, right? It's crickets chirping. We're in a transformational phase, a transitional phase of, of the energy. It's like It likely feels that way. This is death, rebirth. Okay, and in between, it's kind of funny. A lot of people don't notice this. There's an infinity symbol in between the words death and rebirth. Yeah, it, I'm not going to read that all mystical for you here, tell you about infinity and this and that. I'm just going to say there's death and there's rebirth, and in between, it takes forever. It takes a long fucking time for that rebirth to come around. It feels like infinity. It feels like fucking forever. It's changing. It's changing. With the fool here, options are rolling in. And how many times lately have we seen this Seven of Cups? We saw it in today's reading for the, for the uh, Mars and Taurus. We saw it in the, in the Mercury Cancer reading. This fool is a new level. And it's... With, with victory here, it's happening right now. The energy is transforming right now. This energy is coming off of you right now. What that's doing is it's making you seem very approachable. I think I mentioned this in the Mars and Taurus reading. I said, you guys are going to turn into me when I take my walks, right? I like to be alone. I'm never alone. If people will find me, I, if I look around, there's nobody around. It's a good thing I don't ever want to take a piss, I'll tell you that. But if I look around, there's nobody around, right? I look away for one second, I lift my head up, there's someone standing in front of me. It's the most bizarre thing, and there's a person, there they are. There was nobody there a little bit ago, now all of a sudden there's a damn person, like they were hiding behind a car. That's the kind of energy that's around you, it makes you very approachable. You know, you'll, you'll start to notice it, you'll start to notice people saying hi to you, strangers saying hi to you, people getting, just people you would never expect to talk to, saying hello to you. That energy is here. The universe wants you to know it. Probably this reading is here for someone who doubts it. For that person that I did with the little monologue there where I was crying, right? Probably for, for that person. This energy is there. It's coming off you. It's sticking to you. It, it's even if you haven't gone on the dark night of the soul and had found your self-worth yet, you're still new to the soulmate cycle. The uh, Mars in Taurus is, is sort of uh, juicing you up with the energy anyway. You know, it's that kind of it's that kind of thing. It's that kind of vibe that's happening. So whatever the case here, I don't, I'm not clarifying. It's a soulmate energy short, right? I'm not, I'm not going crazy with it. But keep in mind, there's we're in a transitional phase right now. Death to rebirth and infinity in between. It feels forever. It really does. But the energy is there. You'll start to notice this stuff. Um, as far as your person goes on the incoming energy, just what I can get off of this, what do you think? What do you think this means? That's why I didn't really talk about that because you don't even need me to tell you what this means. Okay? Six of Wands, you, they see you as victory, right? They want to be happy. And so, so, uh, again, we can't get rid of this death card, can we? If you've been watching my readings lately, something's ended on their side. Uh, the energy has changed on your person's side. They can no longer live the way they've been living. It's saying the same fucking thing. But the primary energy here is the universe wanting to tell you about this, probably because with great power comes great responsibility. I know this ain't no Spider-Man movie, but it's true. You have great power. Make sure you use your discernment. Otherwise, you're going to bang your way through your whole goddamn town this summer, I promise you. Okay? Be careful with this energy, because I, I could. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you know, it, it is the way it is. Uh, if you if you have this kind of energy around you, it's just it, it, it gets annoying after a while. 
It kind of does because sometimes you don't feel like talking to people. Sometimes you don't feel like saying hello back, and you have to, or else you're the dick. You know, you're a dickwad for not a jerk weed for not waving back or something. Whatever it is. Anyway, know that this energy is around you. And if you are that crying person, the one I imitated, it cheer the fuck up. You got this energy around you. You got nothing but options coming your way on a whole new level. Things like you've never seen before. As far as your person goes, they're done. They're very unhappy on their side. The only thing that makes them happy is thinking about your tits. That's about it. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. It's what the universe wanted to tell you, and it's a pretty damn fine message, I think. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right? Good luck.